Here on The Vibe, we cover the latest trends in culture and art every day, Monday through Friday. We begin our show today by featuring a story of Xu Bei Hong. The late master was one of the founders of China's modern fine art and is renowned for his artistic portrayal of horses. I recently visited the Xu Bei Hong Memorial Museum in Beijing and had a chance to see his galloping horses for myself. They were full of energy and life. Since the 1920s, Xu has created a series of widely acclaimed images embodying the irrepressible spirit of the Chinese nation. And today, we'll take a close look at his impressive works. Never before had the ink wash medium been used to replicate such anatomical likeness. Never before had the Chinese brush been wielded to portray such a dynamic galloping horse. While the sense of freedom in the brushwork appears almost whimsical. The accurate and precise detail is a testament to adroit draftsmanship. The galloping horse painted by Xu Bei Hong has expanded the frontiers of Chinese painting technique. In depicting equine elegance, the signature in the lower right corner says the painting was created in 1944. Then China's war of resistance against Japanese aggression was drawing to a close. At the peak of his artistic creativity, Xu Bei Hong displayed remarkable poise and confidence. Apart from the vivid form and motion, the image also captured the spirit of the galloping horse to demonstrate the irrepressible dynamism of Chinese fine art. The masterpiece was the result of over two decades of exploration by this founder of China's modern art. In 1920, at the École Nationale Supérieure des Beaux Arts in Paris, a poor art student from China was working furiously while living on mere bread and water. He couldn't afford expensive oil paints and chose to concentrate on drawings. With no money to engage a live model, he painted himself in front of a mirror. For an artist, it is the self that they have to confront. A year earlier, the May Fourth Movement got underway in Beijing to usher in a transformation in the East. For Xu Bei Hong, China's fine art also had to change and shed the conventional apathy and formulaic escapism of the past. He had come to the other end of Eurasian landmass, 
with the mission of innovation. After passing the rigorous entrance exams, he embarked on a systematic study of Western fine art. He was fascinated by the emphasis on drawing from life. The countless hours spent with plaster casts made him a master of the realistic approach. Xu Beihong paid numerous visits to the stables in the Parisian suburbs. There, he observed the horses and sketched their varied shapes, forms, muscles, postures, and manners. Such painstaking study etched the image of horses in Xu Beihong's mind, and he came to identify himself with the noble animal. He was convinced that his long-suffering homeland. Was bound to shake off the oppression and humiliation like a galloping horse. Returning to China, Xu Beihong plunged himself wholeheartedly into teaching and painting. He worked with his colleagues and students to innovate and explore. Through a series of exhibitions, he helped raise funds for the War of Resistance. His pent-up anger and indignation found expression in his paintings. In the Horse Judge of 1931, he longed for opportunities to serve his country with like-minded comrades. In 1939, his painting "Horses of the Frontiers" portrayed the scenery and life in China's borderland. In 1941, he wrote about his profound anguish. At the ominous tidings about an important battle against the aggressors, in 1942, the winning steeds in his painting showed his defiance and resolve against the invading forces. In 1944, as the war was drawing to a close, Xu Beihong again took up his brush. He painted a free and proud horse to announce his joy at the imminent victory. He will make the horse's neck very long, the legs very short, the shoulders very big. But what's interesting is that his horse has no eyes. He has only his 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 eyes. 含到了他的这个码头的结构里面，这种就是我们所认为的善于奔跑的、可以去战斗的这种战马。只有这种战马，我觉得才有这种民族性和鼓舞性在里面。In portraying a horse, Xu Beihong would give priority to the skeletal structure. The bones and joints of the horse are meticulously made out, thanks to Xu Beihong's impressive draftsmanship. To depict the rippling muscles, Xu Beihong masterfully used the shades and highlights on the horse's back and hunch. The modeling offers an incredible sense of volume. The head and legs were treated similarly. And with his imaginative employment of perspective, 
The horses seem to be leaping off the canvas.徐悲鸿先生笔下的奔马呢Today, the galloping horse in the National Art Museum of China continues to inspire and speak to the country's art lovers. The artist's fierce love for freedom has proved an enduring legacy embraced by all Chinese. The spirit and quality of industry, perseverance, and determination inherent in the character of the Chinese nation will spur us to forge ahead and prevail. <laughs>